with Wayne Nelson from the Little River Band. And Wayne, how you doing today? Doing very well. I appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. And, of course, I'm getting a hold of you now because uh, you have a new album that's going to be uh, hitting stores here pretty soon, right? That is correct. Um, very proud of the record and very happy for the opportunity. Um, the way things work is very strange, but um, this record label out of Italy came to us asking for new material. They didn't want, um, you know, yet another version of, uh, of the hits or repackage the greatest hits and add two songs or any of those kind of silly things. We wanted, they wanted all new material. So it, um, not that we haven't recorded new material in the last 10 or 15 years, but to have it for, at a label's request, uh, you know, put things into a completely different framework where we, you know, do a lot of talking to people around the world about the record and uh, hopefully go there to promote it when, you know, if and when it becomes popular, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So a lot of work and, a, you know, a big chunk out of the calendar, but, um, but uh, you know, a great opportunity to... Uh, continue the continue the band's history into the future talk about that first single the lost and the lonely because uh if, if folks have had a chance to uh, head on out there and especially see that video but hear just the words to that song a very moving song well i i appreciate the uh the recognition of it we're we're especially happy about that song it's not that the song the, the whole cd isn't in that style or of that nature it's just one of the stories that you know in this world at this time deserved some attention um the song came to us and um as the lead singer i wanted to feel good about all the songs we had out there the song when it originally came to us had a darker lyric to it it was very much on the the downside of what happens when troops come home um and the the issues they face and not that that's not a topic that needs attention but the chorus was so uplifting, and then it had a different tone to the verses. And I was, you know, myself and the record label immediately fell in love with the chorus. And it felt like Little River Band, and it felt inspirational. And I said to the songwriters, what if we talk about the front end of this, which is the choice that men and women all over the world are forced to make when they're watching things fall apart around them? You stand up and you... Uh, you do what you think is right, and, and a lot of times that means putting on a uniform and you, your life goes on the line. That deserves the utmost of respect and praise and thanks from, from everybody. The writers came back the, the next day with a whole different approach to the thread of the song is that father, mother, this is what I've chosen to do. I got to do it. Please respect my choice. And, and, and I've, you know, th this is what I'm going to do. And they they move forward with that choice and and with that phase of life, it's very um, strong. Military people, of course, are reacting to it, but parents of military people are coming up to us and saying, "Thank you so much. My son just deployed. My daughter just went to Iraq. W whatever the situation, um, that is resonating strongly with people all over the country." And um, you know, we're getting feedback from around the world now because of the video uh, being on YouTube, and it's it's all good. Um, and like I say, it's um, it's something we're proud to say it, and we're proud of the you know the way we've been able to to portray that that thanks. Pray for the lost and the lonely, and our heroes when they fall.
Little River Band obviously has gone through a lot of lineup changes over the years, and folks obviously are uh, familiar with your earlier stuff, the the big hits. Uh, how does uh, the, this new album compare with maybe the sound of some of those old songs? Sound-wise, uh, there were there were parts of the 70s and 80s that we were happy to leave behind us. <laughs> um, uh, you know, bad keyboard sounds and... Uh, you know, reverbs that sounded like you were recording in a in in, in a deserted uh, basketball arena, that kind of stuff. It was um, you know typical of the day, but not conducive to the quality that people are used to hearing now. But, you know, things have come a long way in 30 years. So, what is there that people will instantly hear? I mean, from uh, you know, from pushing play on the CD, instantly they're going to hear Little River Band vocals, uh, a cappella. As a matter of fact, with, you know, without the instruments playing at first. And the other thing that is, you know, the vocals are always talked about, but there's another layer to Little River Band's music, which has been guitar harmonies, um, a lot of two and three part guitar work within the band, uh, as opposed to just a single lead guitar player playing everything. And and uh, that's you know that is there in full force uh, throughout the record, too. So those two trademark or signature uh, parts of our sound are there. Um, the other part of it that I was adamant about was that these stories that we were going to tell with this new CD had to be a reflection of us at this point in a band's 30, you know, the 38th year of a band's career, as opposed to I keep referring to the girl in chemistry class that you fell in love with that had the, you know, the short skirt, whatever. We're, 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 that's not where we are anymore. And we would sound silly pretending to be there or appealing to, you know, to, to those people. We had to tell whatever stories we're going to tell. We got to tell them our way and, and at our age, our vintage, if you will. So, um, having said all that, great songs, great stories, good messages in there. And for the most part, we've got two or three new songs in the set, depending on the crowd, depending on the event. And they are going over extremely well um, and integrated into the set to where people come up to us after we're done and we're signing things and whatever. And they say, those songs fit perfectly. They sound like Little River Band. And we couldn't ask for any more than that, you know, from loyal fans and from people who are listening to the band live maybe for the first or second time um they're hearing it and feeling that that it's a a good progression for for the group so that that was the focus and that that feels good
have had a chance to, uh, to to preview the new album, and the one thing that definitely comes through are those harmonies. And as you talked about, uh, the vocal harmonies and the guitar harmonies, uh, that's, I guess, what people kind of remember. True, and, and not to downplay the, the great songs as well. Um, without the, with, you know, without all the components, but especially a, a good song to build mm-hmm. on your your you're putting icing on, you know you're putting icing on something then there's no cake uh but the vocals have always been fundamentally important to little river band um you mentioned all the lineup changes the the founding members of the band in australia um their whole business plan their whole focus was to have a vocal band and treat the vocals like a horn section where you hear all the horns. You don't just hear one horn and then background horns. Mm -hmm. You hear a horn section as a horn section. We treat the vocals that same way. We treat it like there's three or four, sometimes five, lead singers, lead vocalists singing together, a choral approach, if you will, a choir approach, if you will, as opposed to a lead singer and then background vocals, which lots of people do. And nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that our, our thing has always been to put those vocals right out in front of people's faces and whenever there's been a lineup change, the person coming in, I, look, I was one of them in 79. I was playing in another band, and we opened for Little River Band for two weeks. They auditioned me to, to join the band because I was a singing bass player. They needed a bass player, but they wanted a singing bass player. Um, everybody that's come in, vocals have been, first and foremost, that that integrity had to be maintained. And there's never been a day when, Little River Band couldn't walk to a microphone and sing like Little River Band is supposed to. But um, uh, that is still in place. It's still evident on the record. Like you say, you can't help but listen to any song. And sooner or later, you're going to hear not only a layered arrangement of stuff going on in the background that's cool, but when a chorus hits, you know a Little River Band chorus hit because it hits you square in the face with three or four guys singing, singing full on. Tell your losing 
sense of yearning And where do I run to now? Yeah, where do I run to now? Of course, I'll give you a chance too to talk about some of the other songs on the album. I know, as you uh, as you mentioned, uh, you wanted a, an album that just didn't sound good, but really had a lot of really good lyrical content there as well. Yeah, um, we've got you know, life doesn't change. I mean, life is still about relationships and and uh, conflict and resolution of conflict and whatever. It, it's all here in the record. It's just from maybe from a, a point of like I said, rather than being on the front end of it from high school or early in life. Um, it's from the other side of seeing this more than once and in w- with friends. And there's a song on there called uh, Forever You, Forever Me. It was one of the hardest songs I had to get through because I had good friends who were living that thing out, like at the exact time. And good people, good friends, and everything from my mouth to tell, tell this story, um, I, I would, I, you know, I would break up. I wouldn't be able to finish it. And then I would go back and I would tell the friends, listen, l- you know, look at the words that I'm singing. You're living this at the moment. And it just felt like, uh, like I say, the right, the right way to say something that's been said a lot of times. But, it, it, you know, it felt like a, a, a strong statement from us. Our future lies in reality. Face the lessons of the life we live For you and I, no recovery We're both screaming for more than the other could give Still you're there, deep in my heart
One other song on the record that I wrote, actually, uh, called Who Speaks For Me. Um, I don't think it's ever destined to be on the radio or, or be, uh, you know, receive widespread popularity because it's about a subject that I'm very passionate about, but one that, you know, kind of gets swept under the carpet. And it's, it's domestic abuse. It goes on around the world. And I just saw it one day through the eyes of a kid who's living in the middle of it, doesn't understand it and can't process it all and it's just swirling around him and um i'm not a prolific writer that lyric and the whole the whole package came to me within i don't know a couple hours of juggling thoughts and images and and coming up with a storyline that that strung it all together it's four o'clock in the morning and i'm too afraid to sleep
lighter side you've got um songs like a song called you dream i'll drive which is very funky and bluesy and laid back and it's all about two people who are they've got a great relationship none of this you know not not a conflicted one of and he basically just says to her we're getting out of town and put the top down you sit over there and dream and i'll drive us wherever we want to go just a cruising kind of a attitude Sweet. 
designs on someone else Back where you started with a wounded soul And the same old thing you keep asking yourself
all of it just kind of is a thread getting all the way back to um, uh, the last song in the CD written by a great songwriter in Nashville who wrote hits for Diamond Rio. One of them was called One More Day. Incredible song, incredible story. And he wrote this one called Love Is. And it was like the bow on the package to get all the way back around to the, the, the essence of all of it is if there's anything worth waiting on it's or fighting for is love. And that kind of just brought it just brings you right back to square one and 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 off you go so i hope people see that in in the cd and feel that we've there you know there's there's nothing in there that we took for granted it was all chosen and recorded uh trying to, to trying to find the spirit of the lyric the moment that i saw you i wrapped my dreams around you like a river wraps around a drop of rain and all those days before you When I was waiting for you That I thought I spent in vain It all added up All made sense If there's ever been one thing That's worth the wait want to remind folks if you would Wayne when that new album hits stores August 27 it hits the stores it'll be available for download just like everything else um, Amazon iTunes Spotify uh, you can go to our website which is littleriverband.com and there'll be links for you to go wherever you need to go to buy it or download it or, or, or listen to portions of it um, standard international worldwide release with a record labels uh, support which is uh, I think it's been almost 25 years since that happened for the band last. I think 1988 was the last time we had a record label who, you know, supported the band and, 
and put their efforts behind behind the release. So we're, it's been a long, long time between drinks, if you will. Wayne Nelson from the Little River Band. Wayne, thanks a lot. Wes, it's my pleasure. It's good to talk to you. Pray for the lost and the lonely and our heroes when they fall. Oh